So if we do just add that back on very briefly, just to imagine what the majority of the world are going to be looking at, they're going to be looking at this as their support. They're going to be looking at this as their resistance zone. I know it's not picture perfect. It's not, it's not that important, but we can kind of understand this is what a lot of people are going to be looking at right now. So, I mean, straight off the bat, what would be my type of favorite scenario off of this? It's always going to be like the fake out. So I'd either like to see the move to the upside and fake it back down. Just a really, really obvious lower term time frame triangle that I'm pretty sure the majority of the world are looking at. And of course, it can play out. It can play out. Um, doesn't have to do a fake out. That doesn't have to. But of course, the the high, I think a high probability of, of a fake out is there. But let's just say for a standard target, if we are to break up of this, we could be saying that there is going to be a standard target given of about yeah around 21,000. We're really between that naked point of control to 21,000. So we kind of have a target zone if this is to play out perfectly of around 21K to the NPOC. This for me is absolutely fair game if it does, you know, break out uh, to the upside. And again, to the downside, what we'll be looking at there is then a move down. Oops, did not try and click on that. A move down here, extended from the lows. We would be looking if this got a perfect break to the downside of around 18,500, which puts you once more down to these series of lows here. So. Really simply, we got a lower term time frame descending triangle right now. I would be looking for a fake out. So if it started to break down, I'd look for the swing fire pattern long to trade a long. So e.g. if it starts to break down, the only trade I'm looking for is a long. If it does not give a long opportunity and we simply break down, I do think we'd be looking towards 18,800 to yes, 18,500.